Kings Country at kingscountry.net. Looks like I've got a phone call. I think I know who this is. Hello, Kings Country. This is Jordan Rayner. How are you? Good. You're my favorite contestant on The Voice. Hey, thank you so much. I'm my favorite, too. <laughs> is that, uh, are you going to reappear tonight or is that or tomorrow night or when, when are you going to be back on there? So the battle rounds start tomorrow night and you just have to watch because you definitely may see a familiar face. Yeah, the woman in black. That's right. Yes, sir. I'm super excited about this next round. And uh, like I said, the battle rounds start tomorrow night, Tuesday night. So start watching because you might see me. And you're definitely going to see some of my good friends on the show. And it's going to be a heck of a night. That's Jordan Rayner. You've heard her on the Jim King of the TV show and the radio show. We've played your song Straight Shot. And we've had uh, played your video Damn Sandwich. That came out uh, just a little while ago, wasn't it? Yeah, man, thank you so much for spinning the song and spinning the radio uh, or the video. And, uh, yeah, man, we've had a lot of fun making music and videos this year, for sure. Oh, I do TV and radio, so you're on my radio show right now. It's Jordan Rayner. Yeah. Yeehaw. Four chairs. That's amazing. The four-chair turn uh, with uh, Team Reba. You're the first one on Team Reba. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. I, I couldn't believe it. You know, uh, that was one of the most nerve-wracking things i've ever done in my life i don't get scared of much you know but that was definitely uh new territory and i couldn't believe that i had one chair let alone four it's an honor to be on team reba yeah what is it like to step out on that stage well you know i mean you, you can't describe it until you've done it you know i i've told people i was back there kind of in this bullpen of sorts you know and it's like this big long black hallway and you walk up to these big double doors it's kind of like it looks like jurassic park you know these big tall double doors that's got the voice logo on it the room is dead quiet and then all of a sudden you hear the next artist jordan rayner is entering the stage and those big doors open up and you're looking at those four red chairs man i'll tell you it's it's nerve-wracking is it a big room it looks big on television but how how big is it in person you know it's a small studio it's a small tv studio but um they definitely make it look big on TV, but it's not as scary in person as far as that's concerned. Again, that's Jordan Rayner. You can see her on The Voice. She's in Reba's team. Um, I guess you have to get to, you have to go through several uh, layers of uh, competition to get to where you are now. Yeah, it's definitely a process. And, um, you know, again, until you've kind of done it and gone through it, you just have no idea what to anticipate. But I tell you, it's been worth every every step of the way because i tell you reba is everything you'd hope she'd be she is just so kind and gracious and has so much knowledge to give and i've already learned so much from her and i look forward to a, a long run with her do you have to um go through a lot of um uh, auditions before you get to this point well um they do kind of a little bit of a preliminary screening process but um you know i'm not really at liberty to talk much about their the way that they operate but you know um i was just really lucky to be able to be one of the people that landed in los angeles and got a chance to blind audition and i'm sure thankful for it are you in la right now no sir i'm actually on the road doing some shows and um if you're in the oklahoma texas area this coming few weeks you might get a chance to see me go check out my tour dates on jordan rayner official.com okay you're in beaumont texas right now on king's country that's jordan rayner originally from oklahoma i spent some time in oklahoma on the opposite side of the state i think you're from durant oklahoma yeah yeah atoka and durant the texoma area sure am yeah i was out in elk city oklahoma that's where i started my uh country radio career are you familiar with really? elk city i am i sure am yeah, I was out there. I actually was uh, Oklahoma DJ of the Year in 1997. You were probably just a little oh, that's kid. that's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> I've was been down here in old, uh, yeah. Southeast Texas. We love your stuff here, Jordan. Uh, Southeast Texas, oh, Beaumont, so Port much. Arthur area. You know, we've had some country stars from here as well, like George Jones, uh, really? Tracy Bird, Mark sure. Chestnut, Clay Walker, all from this area. Oh, man, you got some good ones. I mean, I, I hate to brag, but, you know... Uh, we we kind of got some good ones up our way too. Oh, I know I Garth I Brooks, Reba McIntyre. We got Garth, Reba. We got Carrie. We got Blake. We got Vince. I got to ask Man, you, how are those tater tots? How are Reese, how are um, Reba's tater tots? <laughs> well, you know they they were a little dry. They've been out all day, <laughs> but they were they tasted like victory. <laughs> Did she put cheese on them or anything? She gave us some barbecue sauce. That helped. Oh, okay. 
Again, that's Jordan yeah, Rainer. They're pretty good. They're pretty good. <laughs> How about we play your song uh, Straight Shot right now in King's Country? Oh, that sounds good to me. King's Country at kingscountry.net. That's Straight Shot from Jordan Rayner. Did you write that song? I sure did. I wrote it with a hip-hop artist named Kill Will and a producer out of Nashville named Brent Boyette. Great tune. We played Thank the video. So Great video, too. We I love your look. You got so much spunk. Oh, I really have developed, you know, my look over the last few years. And just, I like to wear anything that makes me feel bulletproof and feel fierce, you know. And, um, you know, that's just kind of the way that it, it, it works for me. That's Jordan Rayner. She's a singer-songwriter. In fact, you wrote a song with a guy that's got local connections here, Sundance Head, and uh, his oh, son, yeah. his dad used to play around here. Roy Head used to play here a lot in Southeast yeah. Texas. That is yeah, so cool. Yeah, man, Sundance is a good friend of mine. He, you know, of course, he won The Voice a couple years ago, and so he's been able to give me some good advice on what to expect and, you know, how to handle nerves and all that. He's been a great friend in the process. Okay. Do you have a full band you're traveling with now? You know, right now I'm doing uh, an acoustic tour, just me and a guitar telling some stories and singing some songs. But I do have a full band show November 4th in Atoka, Oklahoma, right next to Reba's place. It's going to be a big homecoming show, and we are going to burn it down. So uh, do you talk to Reba much now that you're on her team? Yeah, man, I, I do. I get to I get to be pretty connected with her and get to hear you know, her thoughts on the next songs and how to, 
you know, kind of deliver those songs. You know, she's uh, she's been a great friend and a great coach in the process. All right. That's Jordan Rayner. Good luck on The Voice. And thanks so much for the call. Anything else you want to tell your fans out there? Well, I just want to tell you thanks so much for watching me on The Voice. And if we get to that point, I want to be sure that you're getting The Voice app and you're voting for me and helping me get through all the way to the top. Also, please go join my fan club, Spitfire Nation, on jordanrainerofficial.com. My fan club gets the star treatment. All right. I appreciate the call so much, and good luck on The Voice. I hope you win, and I'm, you've got my vote, that's for sure, Jordan. Oh, thanks so much, man. I appreciate your time. All right. Thank you for calling. Yes, sir. Bye-bye.